Yeah. What'd you say? You gotta do the education? Yeah, we gotta show some education. All right, I'm gonna get off this couch that you have here, guy, and we're gonna do the video then. How about that? Sounds like a deal. What do you think? Let's do it. All right. We got a lot to cover. Well, hello, everybody. I seek to educate and entertain through my journey of collecting coins and stacking precious metals. I encourage you to subscribe and please stay with me on this journey. I am Spectacular the Silver Stacular. Had a busy couple of weeks, um, non-stop in the store, spent a lot of money. A lot of people out there need a few extra bucks. It's, uh, it's a sad situation out there, it really is. Went to dinner last week. You know, usually you go to dinner around 5.30 to a steakhouse on 50 up here. You gotta wait outside for an hour. No wait, room was half full. I mean, you know, it was, uh, they just, they can't spend the money. You know, dinner is 60, $70. It's expensive. Yeah, that's what I've deserved. I went to breakfast myself and after tip it was 25 bucks, just by myself. Wow. Yeah. yeah cut back on them sausages and everything. Yeah, they're so good. <laughs> So wow, $25 <laughs> for breakfast. It's cheaper to buy the chickens. Well, I thought about it. But uh, it's been busy. I got some interesting counterfeits. I picked up some uh, very interesting coins. I want to cover different kinds of silver um, because I picked up a lot of odd silver off of someone. The 40% silver as compared to other silver. And I want to do some comparison so people understand what they're buying. And when they buy an old silver dollar, when they buy a new commemorative silver dollar, how much silver is actually in those coins? Um, let me show you my newest counterfeit pickups. Let's do it. Let's just start the video with this. All right, boom. I think it has a nice run to it, that. guy. Oh, nice, uh, what? 50 grams of gold? Not real. Not real? Looks really can good. I, can I grab this? Sure, stuff? go ahead. All right, let's see. She bought this in the islands. Now, I don't know what she paid for it, but she gave it to me. I'm using for education. Okay, so 50 grams, you're definitely over an ounce of gold. Well, 100 grams is 3.2, so it's 1 1.6 ounces. 1.6. That's $3,000 in pure gold. It should be heavy, but... Heavier than that. It doesn't Gold's feel heavy, dense. Right? Yeah. Dense and, and heavy. Mm. We picked up a platinum ring today. I, I swear it must weigh half again more than gold. Platinum is very heavy, very dense. So how'd you find out that this was fake? Just you just touched Put it, it on you're the like, machine. Oh, okay. Put it on the machine. Uh, we threw it on the machine. Let's throw it on here and see what it weighs. See what it weighs. It's got to be light. Oh, it's, it's one ounce. It's thirty-one point one, and it says fifty grams. Oh boy. Well, they give you an ounce of fake instead of <laughs> one and a half ounces of fake. So there's some something there. And then I picked this up. I put a lot of old silver in cans. And I'm going through some of this, and this one jumped out at me. And it, a few things are not bizarre, but much different than they should have been. Uh, when you compare it to another, another walker, look at the neck. It's like a skeletal looking neck. Is this a pattern? Explain to people what a pattern coin is. A pattern coin is a trial piece. That's like they say, well, we want to we want to make the the new half dollars look like this. Here's different sculpt, different engravers will put different heads on it, different reverses, different combination, and they usually make seven to twenty of them to pass around and and think about what they want to do. And that's a pattern. And the one that's taken is the one put into production. And the other ones usually go into archives unless somebody lifts them and takes them home as a souvenir. Right. But, and usually patents are expensive. But when you look at the neck here, and then look at the neck here. There's definitely a difference. And then look at the way the, the lettering is. The date looks much thicker than normal. Uh-huh. Yeah. And count the feathers. Just look at the rays on the sun. This one's, only, this one's missing two, I think. Is this a pattern? I don't know. Can you flip it? Sure. Let's see. If, is there anything different you notice here? Yeah, yeah. The feathers are different, too. The amount of oh, feathers. Yeah, for sure. And it's, it's tough because it's worn. But it, it tests the silver. It weighs right. It tests as 90% silver. Yeah, huh? it tests the silver. And it weighs right. I mean, you can see it's a reeded edge. And this looks like it's done right. I, this, this obviously 
This may have been in circulation for who knows how long. I'm thinking it said 1920 on it. It looks like 20. It looks like a 20. Um, so what are you going to do with that coin? I'm going to do a little more research, and then I'm going to maybe take it to fun or someplace like that where there's other patents, and we'll look, and somebody will say, I'll give you half a million. And I'll <laughs> say, well, you got to buy me lunch too. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and we'll see what happens. Wow. But that's the game. That's the fun of it. You Funny know, it's just like, uh, like everything else. Um, but those are my, my, as I tell you, we buy, now I would have paid full price for this thing, but it winds up being another, if it's not real, then, oh, well, I'm out a few bucks, but that's part of the game because we buy so much volume. Um, silver and gold has been hot. It's going to get hotter. Today is Monday, Wednesday, the Fed meets. Are they going to go up a quarter of a point? I don't know. I know it's six o'clock this morning. Gold was up twelve dollars, now it's down eight. Silver was up seventy-five cents. Now I believe it's down uh it was like eight, eight or nine or cents. Yeah. Up and down, that's the game. Silver's down thirteen cents, silver's yeah. down ten. So you're looking at a twenty-five dollar swing in gold and a ninety cent swing in silver. Silver's just under twenty-five, but that's okay. I really think that either way, there'll be a sign of relief come Wednesday if it goes up a quarter point and I see silver and gold both going up. I don't think you're going to stop. I think it has to keep going. There's just too much pressure on it, uh, and it's going to keep pushing the price up. Um, There's so much uncertainty out there. All these other countries, you know, working together and kind of making, you know, America seem like a, you know, I don't know, like a lesser entity. I mean... <laughs> it's yeah. not looking good. Well, you, you better put your money to something and safe. And that's what's affecting everything going on out there. You know, you look at us as a weak sister. And, um, you know, it starts from the top. And then, um, you know, you look at bank failures. You've got a lot of fear out there. Uh, I had somebody come in here last week and say that they're not doing any more building permits in Hernando County. I don't know. The guy next door to me... I think the, the mother is a real estate, but he's a contractor. He's an architect. And he said things have definitely slowed down. I mean, because people can't afford to pay that 6.6 .6 mortgage rate that was 3% 14 months ago. I mean, a lot of people are pulling back. You know, the cash houses are still going to sell. But it's just a matter of everything going on out there. The people can't afford it. Yep. I do have a couple of pieces of gold, but these are not going to last so by the time this comes oh, out, geez. don't call me. They'll be gone. You're going to show that off, and then there it goes. I can't buy it now. That's my yeah. favorite favorite thing to get right there. Yeah. A little bit more than an ounce, isn't it? 1.2. Yeah, about a quarter of an ounce. Yeah. Extra. A lot of gold there. So cool, aren't they? That weighs about what this bar should have weighed. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Wait, just so that's a gold ounce eagle. Or? Yeah. Guy's picking it up tomorrow. 97, huh? You don't see the 97s come in too often, do you? No. Yeah, that's cool. The ones you really want are the... 90 to 95 not the one ounce the quarter and the and the half ounce those have good premiums like twice gold yeah they have a lot of premium on those That's uh cool. i picked up a nice a nice extension i bought this now this is something i've talked about before um when i when people show me the counterfeit uh large bus dollars and i say well you know it's got a reeded edge it can't be real because they didn't start making reeded edge coins until 1836. And the well-known one is the 36 reeded edge half dollar. Now, these are in a way like patterns. They made somewhere plus or minus 1,200. Maybe 20% still exist? Who's to say? So maybe there's 250 of these. Um, you know, guy, it's with a the, rare uh, coin, a hard coin. With the reading, like, of the edges, um, you know, people back in the day, they would have a coin that was, uh, you know, smashed down, you know, via, like, a strike that they did mm -hmm. on these coins. And somebody might come along and shave a little of the edge off, oh, you know yeah. what I mean, keep it for themselves. Was the reading kind of like an anti-counterfeit? Stop like the a, people from shaving. And a shaving And thing? that's yeah. common with gold, yeah, especially European gold. They would take shavings and they'd have a sharp, and basically, it's almost like gold dust, but flake. You take enough for those. If you if you shave the edge off of, you know, twenty or thirty five dollar gold pieces, you can get yourself, I don't know, five dollars worth of gold, whatever it may come out to, it would add up to something. Yeah. And in a day when, you know, you could buy yourself a, a sandwich and a beer for a dime, 
it made a difference of eating or not. But this is a this is a famous coin. This is a 36 reeded edge, graded by the famous PGA. Uh, this is when they weren't playing golf. They used to grade coins there. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. I don't know who these people are, but the coin's real. Um, this was part of an auction. I bought this at a lawyer. Uh, it was an estate, and I picked this up in another coin. But this coin explodes in higher grades. Um, you know, when this, start, when this starts hitting, I think the next grade up jumps about to $7,000. Mm. But it starts at 900 or 1000 in good. I mean, it's an expensive, expensive coin. Kind of a big deal. Yeah, kind of a big deal. Kind of a famous coin. A reeded edge half dollar is always a wow coin. As I said, they only have a couple of hundred of them. Um, I'm put this right next to the other one there. there we go. A little difference there. Difference in size. Yep. Interesting. Look at that guy. You're getting phone calls after hours. That must I be the wife. I am very famous. That must be the wife. Checking up on you. You get like a high AU. This coin is four thousand dollars. Jeez. You can see the difference on these, on the edging, on this. There's writing, it's incised. It says 50 cent, one half dollar. On these, it's just read it, read it twice called the read it edge half dollar. It's a nice piece. Yeah, something different. It's, you know, it's not for everybody, but it's mintage of, you know, how many exist. That's the whole thing. It's like a pattern coin. We've got some wow, um, some new wow um, Morgans. We had a lot of Morgans that were in that case over there I was looking at earlier. Oh yeah, right I over also here. picked up, um, I picked up a bunch of very nice walkers. That's like your favorite coin, right? Like a proof yeah. walker? Walker's a pretty coin. Proof, proof walkers you never see. I think I bought one or two proof walkers in 15 years here. That's 1916D. What um what key dates are you looking for with the walkers, guy? Well, you're looking for 21s, the 19s, the 16s, you know. There were uh, there was some that you know a VG10 is a pretty high grade in a, in a 21s. 21s explodes in prices. You know, you get up extra, extra fine, it's like three thousand dollars. It just absolutely explodes. What is your opinion on? Do you enjoy the obverse mint mark? Or you like the reverse mint mark where they ended up putting it? I'm used to the reverse. I think they should have left it on the front. I don't know the whole story. Maybe it used to wear off too quickly. Uh, it was probably more protected by the rim being on the reverse. Um, so but nice you ones. see 27, you know, you just don't see these grades. You don't see this kind of detail in these. Why were but the that, uh, 1921 coins, why are they just like so scarce? They... Money went very far in those days, and the mintages were very low. I mean, you get a 29D. This coin only has like a million, 2,000 or something like that. There's a lot of coins with under a million. And a million of anything isn't a whole lot in the whole country. And this money circulated so much. 50 cents was a lot of money in those days. 29D. These are the best walkers I've ever owned. That's the truth. In high grades. If I was putting a set together, most of these are going in my book. You just don't see these. You're uh, talking about a different time, too. This is not like, oh, these came from the mint directly to your home, mint for duty, mm -hmm. stored away, you know, forever as a collector's exactly. piece. This was like, hey, you got to use this stuff because you got to survive. This guy shopped and put this stuff together over the course of, I don't know, a lifetime, I guess. See, some of these you're going to find, but even this. Certainly. These are not anywhere near as hard to find. And these are errors. I got some cool error ones. What is the error on these? There's no a, there's no AW on the reverse. The initials mm -hmm. of the engraver on the reverse is missing. Fantastic. I have a 36 with no AW. It's the only one known. Uh, I had it certified by Annex. Good God. That's before a piece of ICG even existed. I bet you I got that graded 30 years ago. <laughs> Probably 30 years ago I got that graded. Wow. I know I'd never heard of one. There was none in the Breen, none in the book. And the guy said, well, I'll give it to you. There's nothing there. It's, it's a no AW. But Breen had already died. So what I was after was getting put in the book, getting the Discovery coin with my name in the book, beside being on the movie screen, my name. 
but this will be, you know, I wanted it in the book as a discovery coin, and I got the coin, but I don't get the oh, credit for it. Next time. Such is life. <laughs> next time. Yep. That's cool. It's cool just these collections like come into your shop like that, huh? Yeah, and I got a, a very nice, I showed part of it, but we've since picked up more of um, Morgan Dollars. Funny, I saw those. I was over here peeking at the walkers and then I started veering off a little bit. I had to come back, but yeah, I saw I saw these Morgans. Very pretty. Look at the colors on this one. You were commenting before on this. Yeah, I saw that this one. This is like outrageous. Let me, can I pick that one up? Sure. Thank you. I feel like it's good to ask, you know? Mm-hmm. Nice, beautiful toning on that. I love those iridescents, those blues and greens. When you get luster guy on a coin, what kind of grades are you, like, automatically, you know, getting out of the coin? A lot of coins, you want to see them pop. Most coins are 63s to me. Uh, any mint, uh, mint luster across a whole coin is an unk. That's a 60. Um, sometimes you could break a little bit of luster because they were stacked together, but basically a 60. And then it's how they pop. You know, you get something that has proof fields or just some of them have incredible flash. And yeah, just this one. And then they, they, of course, they go up even higher. These are pretty. You know, you're not going to see 69s and 70s and Morgans. There might be a 69 somewhere, but you'll find a 68 every now and then. But, you know, that's a coin that somebody must have caught when it came out of the hopper. <laughs> I mean, they just don't exist. I've been to the Mint. I watched the coins being made. Must have been 30 years ago in Denver. And, uh, they, you know, it's about this high, and they come off this belt, and they drop six feet. And you got one big, you know, one sharp edge of this hitting the coin, hitting the coin, hitting the next coin. And when they drop at that speed, you know, that's where you'll sometimes see those jagged impression of the coin above it. Yeah. And that's what happened when they get hit. You know, I have a Morgan dollar with just what you described, those like jagged, like the edge, like mm -hmm. indentations. And there's three of them on the right hand side. But the Morgan itself looks so pretty. I want to have it sent off to be graded just because besides those three dots, which is like something common that happens to them, it's such a pretty coin. Yeah. Well, sometimes they take... They don't, they don't give you allotment for it. You're not going to get a 68 on that. That's fine. I'm not uh, trying to get the 68s. I mean, I'm, don't get me wrong. I'd love to have a 68, but well, I Like understand. I said, we picked up some really collectible uh, Morgans and some wild uh, walkers, um, some of which are here, and some of the other walkers are over here. Over here. These are the wow ones? Yeah, let me pull them out, make it easier. Are you trying to wow me, guy? I'm trying to wow you. All right. I'm impressed. It's easy to do. It's, it's, uh, it's something I was thinking about earlier. You know, if you have a table full of, I don't know, 10 one ounce bars, I'm wowed. Like, mm -hmm. and I go to a, a show, like the fun show, and there's tens of thousands of dollars worth of bars on the table. I'm wowed then. I'm wowed all the time. Doesn't matter the size, I'm always wowed. This is wow. This is I love looking at this stuff. I might be a collector guy. This is a hard coin. I'm surprised it's still there. See, I got a net on this one. This is a rare coin. The 94, second lowest mintage. The 93S only has a mintage of 100,000. The 94, 110,000. That's it. Yeah. This coin, I believe, has probably been dipped. For a coin but this is, this is an extra fine. I mean, this is a, this is a really a wow coin. I heard they you use, know. like, the Morgans, like, in slot machines and stuff, too. Oh, certainly they did. The yeah. and all around. This coin is surprisingly expensive. But that's what happens when it jumps to a three. A two is, like, still $700. You wouldn't think of it. 1901S doesn't hit me or a lot of people as a big deal, but it is a big deal. The 28, you know, uh, that's the key to the, uh, to the peace dollars. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Here's a 99S. You've got, have you got a couple uh, 28s in the store? I not thought anymore. I saw another one. Not anymore. That one's gone. That one's still got nice I sold a 21 back. today that I bought uh, raw last week. That lasted three days. That's not a bad coin right there at all. It fills a hole. It's a 28. Yeah, I like that one. Still have the know. feathers on there. You got a lot of the detail still on there. And it's a, it's a you know, hard to find coin. It was the legendary rare coin of the set for a long time. You know, in circulated grades. 
when you get up into the high grades, the, the threes, fours, fives, the 34s, the 28s, surprisingly, gets to be like a $12,000 coin in a five. 1879cc, huh? Expensive Another coin. very expensive coin. What is this coin we start getting to like mid state? What are we talking there? Right here. Here's my new gray sheet. I love getting it. I got my new gray sheet Saturday. You and love it's, that? Yeah, well, here's the point I always make. You think they could fix this with a keystroke. Um, you know, I'm looking over here in the front. You know, it's got the price of gold at 1962, which is only off by 20 bucks, but they got silver at 23. Yeah, well, silver's 25. That stuff just fluctuates so much; it's hard to. Well, keep it in it's, it's been at 25 more or less for the last 10 days. Yep. Why can't you hit a keystroke 10 days before you actually go to print and publish it? And they just the computer automatic. It's like when I go to the IRS or I, where I'm working with my accountant and I forgot something, and everything is printed. Well, what's the new number on something? And you tell them. Ten minutes later, they come in. You got a whole new, a whole new, you know, report. <laughs> it's, it's nothing. The machine does all the work. So why can't you do this the last minute? I think when you're looking at a two dollar difference in the price of silver, and how that affects the price of silver eagles and a lot of basic coins, yeah, I, I think they should fix that. I just what I think. Uh, the seventy nine cc. 79cc. I'm kind of curious because what do we got on the grade here? What was this one? Was that XF? This is an XF. Okay. Okay, an XF40 is exactly what I got here. 1350. You start getting a higher grade. I'm just kind of curious. AU50. 2800. Whoa. AU58. 4000. Hey, hey, hey. Unk 5366. Um, 10,000 in a four, 20,000 in a five. It's just so crazy how the coins go up yeah. like that. They, they explode, but those numbers are big, but nowhere near the 93 S. Uh, the 93 S is, is breathtaking. It's so funny. Just like in my mind, I'm thinking like, okay, you know, a few repairs that need to be done around the house right here. You start getting up higher grades. You're like, okay, a new car. <laughs> well, see, now you take like a 93 S you're okay up to about a fine, and it's still gonna cost you 4,000 in a fine. Wow. Then it goes to 6,000. From the, from the 6,000 in an XF40, it goes to $10,000. Then 22, AU58, 58, not an unk, AU58, 110,000. Oh, no big deal. No big deal, guy, you got that. Come on, buy a few of those. 110,000. That's crazy. You know, but you know what? This is Spring Hill. You never know what's in the bottom of some sewing kit. Here, in Unc 65, six hundred thousand dollars. Jeez Louise. Six hundred thousand dollars. Jeez Louise. Jeez, I can go on another river cruise. Could you imagine that? Huh. That you just you start to go through a, a bucket of coins and stuff, and you just have a bunch of random stuff in there, and you find that six hundred thousand dollars. That half a million dollar coin just pops out. Well, I don't think it's going to just pop. It, it, I guess it could. I heard the story, maybe it's an urban legend, but I was here at the time when you had these hotel buyers out there buying everything up in the neighborhood and some old lady came into a hotel up on 19 and the story got out and I've heard it from a couple of sources and the reason it got out is because the hotel buyers, the guys at the desk get paid a percentage of, you know, in other words, if they buy silver dollars for $10, if you can get them off the old people for five bucks each, they split the difference with you. That's how they make their money. They work on commission. Okay, they're 1099 people. Well, that's the way they were 10, 12 years ago. So this person, this woman came in and the guy bought a $4 Stella. Oh man. A Stella. Stella. $500. What I heard, that coin was in Miami by the end of the day and it went for a hundred grand. Jeez. Urban legend, I don't know, but the guy who wanted to know where's his cut and they cap you with a thousand a day in profit. <laughs> Wait, buddy, you got a hundred grand. That's crazy. Forget you're a bunch of thieves, but that's what you still got. I st and I'm amazed because I still see hotel buyers out there. I don't know how to get away with that. How are you buying all this jewelry and you're keeping it, you're not holding it for 30 days? How come I got to hold it 30 days? Hey, listen, I don't I know. I mean, it, it's crazy. <laughs> it's just crazy. 
But that's that's the kind of stuff that's out there, and you never know. You know, somebody, somebody's. You know, when you get an eighty-year-old, ninety-year-old person, and their parents were ambassadors somewhere back in the thirties, who knows what they got their hands on? Yeah, exactly. What was given to them as a gift? Yeah. You know, in those days, and now what it's worth. I mean, uh, it's that kind of stuff. And maybe they don't even know what they have, and so they're just holding on to and it And obviously, longer. this woman didn't know what she had. Yeah. You know, with five hundred dollars, that sounds like a lot of money. But now when you're talking about a coin that, what are there, 200 $4 gold pieces out there? Not a whole lot. It was probably in 1879. That's the most common. I think there's 200 of that one made. But altogether, how many survived? But that is a legendary WoW coin. Guy, what's the most crazy legendary WoW coin that's been in your hand? Maybe not that you own or anything like that, but it's been in your hand. And you're like, you thought about it, you looked at it, you had the access to it. I, I've had the 43 copper pennies. I had a couple of them. Wow. Um, and they went on to be certified and sold for uh, 280000 The other one went for 180000 Those are probably the most expensive coin I've had that's very well known. Uh, I've had a 95 uh, Morgan in my hand, the proof. Um, expensive coin, 70000 now. A wow coin. Mm. Um you know, you find this this stuff out there, but that's part of the game. It's like I said, that's part of the hunt. That's the fun. That's the fun. It's like I, you know, we did that thing a few, maybe months ago, maybe a year ago, where I had uh, yeah, bags of this. I've been buying, let me tell you something. I'll be 69 in August. I've worked seven days a week this whole week. I was here yesterday. I had a 60 hour week I worked because I bought crazy amounts of stuff this week. A lot of stuff that takes a lot of detail looking. Um, I bought a collection that had 17 of those tubs. That's one of the tubs. These tubs here. Those tubs. 17 of them full of coins. You're going to show me some of that stuff in there in a little I'm bit? I'm going to show you and I'm okay. going to talk about the different weights of different silvers. Okay. But it took a couple of hours to buy, another hour and a half to sort it, and then another 20 hours I put in between that and a large amount of a hoard of old foreign and a, you know, a two pound coffee can of Indian head penny. I love this stuff. And it's the thing to keep me going. The wife's up in Long Island visiting family and I had the house to myself. And I, me and the dog were sorting coins till midnight, you know. But anyway, <laughs> it, but she doesn't eat a lot, so it makes it easy. I know, uh, but anyway, I got a lot of foreign. I got some more bags I put together and I got more of these. Okay, I sold a bag this morning. These are the mixed foreign coins. Uh, there's 10 troy ounces of world coins. That's not 10 ounces of silver. There's 10 ounces of coins there. They're different weights, different purities. But just looking through them, now this is a true story. They were on my desk here. And I'm sorting them out because I want to try and make them balanced. A few British of each size and then everything else was small. This small coin I pulled out. Okay. So this was in one of the bags yeah. that you were messing with. Yep. And I just don't look at every coin. A Russian coin, $139. Yep. Was because, sitting in there. Because of the variety. Most of them just have the uh, the lettering, the uh, C N B. Mm -hmm. This has the O3 on it. The other one is about half the price, still an eighty dollar coin. So what do you have but these bags at? These are two fifty. Um so all you, the value is right here in one one particular half little dime size of the coin. Bag. Crazy. And they're British coins. There's all kinds of coins in there. There may be a Canadian here and there, but it's going to be a sterling Canadian. Uh, now, this was in one of those bags, but that's yes. not to say that you're going to get something like no. that. It just, it no. just happened to be in there. And you're but there's it. a yeah. lot of European ones. There's, you know, you get a 1943 three pence. There's a couple in there uncirculated. I saw those. Those are $3 a piece. It uncirculated or $4 a piece. But you only paid me 30 cents for the silver in that coin because it's tiny. It's smaller than this. Yeah. So when I do the math, you pay 30 cents. But it's a $3 coin. You put them in garage sales, you put them in flea markets, somebody might give you $2. So any way you look at it, when you price it out, you take the time, the stuff is going to be there. That's part of the hunt. That's what I do. That's what I do is the hunt for me. I mean, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff in these. Are we going to see one? Yeah, let's open one. 
You're going to have somebody that's going to go, I want that exact one. You can't do that. Can't do that because there's four, <laughs> four black ones here. Let's the shuffle them up. Now, what happens we drop this out? And there's the gold Stella. Oh, oh. my God. Did I screw up? Listen, if there's a gold cell in there, guy, you got to promise I had right a now, guy, you'll put it back in there. I had a guy call me and thank me profusely because he bought a bunch of foreign silver off of me and he found a one tenth gold coin in there. That's a Chinese one tenth. That's wild. Thank you, boss. I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. I mean, there's They're all so, kinds here. So pretty, guy. Now, you see, like, you get one of these, the Philippines, like this. It's probably two or three dollars. Yeah, that's a pretty Swiss piece. Now, the Philippine coins, those were minted in the United States, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. It says United States of America on them. Boom. Yeah. Can I touch some of these things? Yeah. That's the year I was born. That right coin hand. is priceless. You're a priceless guy. You yeah. Me you mentioned uh, your age and how much you're working. I mean, you're you're coming from a generation that just continues to work. I love to work. Keeps me out of the street. That's a pretty coin right there. I love this one. You know, I United can't... United States of Venezuela? Oh, yeah. Well, here's a cool one, too. Here's one from Brazil. That's a pretty coin. 90% silver. Yep. Feels heavy, too. Look at that dude. Sharp looking. 1907. Nice All right. 1907 Brazil. Brazil. Hey, Brazil's a big deal right now, right? Now, that's got to be this maybe $8 in silver in it. I'll bet you that's more than an $8 catalog coin. Big part of bricks. You got, yep. this, you got the Brazil. This is from one of the islands. Might be the new world order pretty soon. This is Spain. Oh, what was that Mexican coin right there, guy? Right there. Yeah. What's that then? Does that that has silver in it? Sure, sure. Oh yeah, yeah, that one yeah, does. Yeah, that's the one, one with the layout. It's fifty-eight yep. percent, fifty-two or fifty-eight percent pure. Coins. Actual weight on that is fifty-eight percent. I like they have all different. So sizes. this is twelve dollars worth of silver on that coin. Here's a what? Nineteen sixteen? Nineteen oh seven? Half mark? German? Before the crazy man? I threw one of these in each bag. These are only 50% silver, but they're pretty. There's salmon. You eat salmon? Yeah, I love salmon. Smoked? What do you like? I like either. I try to get the Pacific because the Pacific salmon is supposed to be the, you know, the one with less mercury. Mm -hmm. But either one. doesn't matter. I like salmon. Has anybody ever came up with how much mercury is actually dangerous for a person? Well, they say the Atlantic salmon is the one with the more mercury. That's why I want the Pacific, mm -hmm. what they call the wild salmon. Yeah. Um, I picked up a bunch. I got a couple in the freezer I got to cook up. Um, but this is an example of what's in there. I don't know. What does they have? 5, 10, 20, 30, 40. At least 50 coins here. Yeah, it's a nice little hunt. But you know what the money is in these little ones? Yeah, here's a little. Here's a couple. Here's a three pence. Why is the money in the little ones? Because that's where the money sometimes is surprising. Yeah, 1,900, six pence. 18, 1914, three pence. Mm. You know, when you look at, you look at what this weighs. Six pence on the richer. Okay. Both coins, these coins weigh about a gram a piece. 1.4, 1 1.4. 1 .4. One and a half grams a piece. So what did you pay? On 30, so you're paying me a dollar each? Pretty, you know. Pretty good deal? Pretty good deal, I think. I don't think you have to worry about the, Getting your dollars worth on those. So not think ten what troy hints. ounce of silver. You're weighing all the coins total. Yeah, That's ten troy ounces of world coin, silver coin coins. Weight. Okay, I got you. Because I had some complaints about that, but then you get the guy who finds himself with one tenth gold coin. I'm sorry. Well, you're trying to explain it as best as possible, but people hear what they want to hear. You know. Here's a 1916 three pence, but it's various you know combinations like that. Um, I only have six bags. Uh, if you buy two of them, it's 500. I pay shipping. There's no tax. If you buy one bag, it's 250. I'll pay half the tax and I give you free shipping either way. So it's like 257 for one, 500 for two, but I only have six. So we'll see how far it goes. But this official, really official foreign there. coin holder plastic piece too. And like you that. don't get this special you can't hold, you can't take that. butter bin or whatever it's <laughs> I see. It's crazy because I, you know, you know, coin people, they reuse rubber bands. They save the plastic bags. Everything. These things come in. I mean, but I use them down here. They always come in handy. I'm always sorting things right at my desk. 
Well, right here, and you oh. you got a little of this, a little of that, and you need you need bins to stick it in. Coin people, man, they have all still, kinds of weird things. I got to catch up on this. I got to catch it. This is the ammo other day. Ammo cans. I saw your ammo cans over here. We use those. Yeah. Look, <laughs> see all of this. I got to catch up on. I don't. I bought so many seeded dimes. Look at all these seeded dimes. What? Seeded half dimes. Oh, this is just stuff you haven't gone through. I was like, I haven't gone through it yet. Right oh, look at that two cent piece guy. Look at that. Look at this. I want this. 1821. I want this. I was a kid. That's awesome. Two cent pieces. They're common. Big pennies, you get a lot. That's a cool. Yeah. This is probably a $50 coin. Just That's like cool. that. Just like that. Well, yeah. these I had pulled, but, you know, there's... A little trime in there? Yep. You're not a fan of the three cent... Uh, yeah, I never, I never understood the reason for them. I understood the reason had to do with postage price. They made three cent silver and three cent, uh, you know, nickel. Um, you know, but you know, you, any three cent silver piece usually sells for $30. If you can read the date. Yeah, they're not cheap. No. 1852. 1852. Pretty cool. This is the kind of stuff that you get. I got to put that one on a, you know, hold it. That's going to sell. Which uh, one? The, but the this is cent? stuff I just haven't gotten to. I just haven't caught up. Um... Oh, yeah. Some of this I did get to. You got time? Because you're a worker? What, is this, what is this thing right here in a bezel? I'm, I'm going to distract you for a second. What is that? I bought that earlier today. Yeah. It's a um, it's a commemorative uh, dollar. The U.S. silver commem. Uh, is that Mount Rushmore? What is on there? That's not Mount Rushmore. Whatever this is. This is uh, the Women in Military Service Memorial. Okay, the, okay sorry. The women in Military. Oh. But hold on. What is, this? what is on this side? Bunch of bunch of ladies. It's like a lady version of Mount Rushmore, right? But Army, it's, Marines, you know, Navy, it's a Air Force. Oh wow, that's cool. It's a one dollar commemorative. It's legal tender, um, and it's silver. Yeah, I love the bezel. Yeah, that's probably cool. given to somebody whose daughter or wife or somebody was, you know, in the military. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure some military level. United States want of that. America, one dollar, which leads me to the next thing I can talk about. Now, these coins have the same silver as these coins, okay? Mm -hmm. Standard weight, silver dollars. Yep. 77.773 silver. So know what you're buying when you buy silver. These have 0.773. There is not an ounce of silver in these. Don't confuse these with silver eagles or silver rounds. I mean... They're less than an ounce. I mean, these are going to pay me thirty-eight dollars for. These are going to pay me third. Now, when I was up in, when I was up in Texas, when nobody recognized me, they were trying to sell me coals and goods. What I would sell is coals down here. They wanted thirty-three dollars a piece for. Them. Now I sell mixed, mixed Morgans and Peace dollars. These exact ones were in there. I sell these for thirty bucks a piece, whatever the mix is. Um, but in this collection, Nate. Going to Nate. The shipping department, yeah. a.k.a. Nate. He's gone? No, he's Oh, he still split on here. you. I had to wake him up. He says it's taking way too long. <laughs> Nate just waits patiently for us to get done. Yeah, superstar Nate right there. Bucket, please. Which one? Coin Which Club one? president, Nathan. Wow. Yeah, he, he did a video while I was gone, I heard. He has the better knees, so he gets down there and gets you know, the bucket. he can do that. <laughs> <laughs> now, this big collection I bought, look at this. What is this? He's got a bucket I got of coins. a bigger bucket there, more of these. Are these dollar commemoratives? These are the dollar commemoratives. Gee, willikers. Okay. These are $30 a piece. These are 24 bucks a piece. Can I get grabby Same on silver. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Same silver. I sell a lot of these around Christmas time. They make nice gifts. It's whatever it may be. You know, these you don't have to worry about taxing the U.S. currency. I want to sell them in lots of 10. Um, 10 of them are $240. I pay the shipping. That's a pretty uh, one. And I pay the credit card. Um, but I got about 400 of them. This collection had so many of them, we had a break. We were busting boxes out for hours. We filled three 30, 40 gallon bags of garbage. This is the Olympics. But I've got hundreds. There's this. And at least twice that in there. I think I have about 400 of them. You get all kinds. All kinds. They're pretty. They, they're really cool. I mean, if you're going to pay $30 a piece for these, it's like the guy said, and he's right. 
Silver is silver. Where will it be used? I don't know, but silver is silver. These have the same amount of silver as these, and you save $6. So these are 90% silver. These silver. are 90% silver. They're legal tender. They changed everything now. And I have hundreds. To triple nine, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's all kinds of themes. Olympics, Statue of Liberty, all Olympics. Pretty cool. This may be LSI Constitution. But these are an idea to buy. I mean, I do sell them. They, they do sell, but I've come into, uh, I think I have $10,000 worth of them. I probably have about 400 And I'm sorry, say it again. How much are you trying to sell those for? 24 bucks each. Okay. Uh, so a lot less than a peace dollar or a Morgan. Same amount of silver. Yeah. These maybe have more character to them, but these are shinier and prettier and just as much silver. Gotcha. And when you can buy five of these for four of these, it's that much more silver. Um, hey, got a trivia question for you, okay? Now think about this one before you answer. What was the first m classic commemorative dollar coin? Oh, the Lafayette dollar. Lafayette dollar, my man. Of course. That's, there you go, boom. I think I've only owned one or two. I don't see them, and I have never gotten a uh, Isabella quarter. Never my son got one. Really? My son got one, certified it, and gave it to my, for my birthday last year. He got it certified, gave it to me. That's cool. But I never got, I've never gotten, with all of the oddities I get from the last five centuries of coins, I've never gotten a, uh, I've never gotten Isabella quarter. I'm trying to build that um, classic commemorative half dollar set, and I'm, I'm including the quarter, including the dollar, and I'm doing the, uh, the Norse medals too. Forget about the Norse gold, medals can't do the gold. Cool. The Norse medals are cool, the, uh, the what, eight-sided or whatever they are. It's pretty cool stuff. Yep. You got the thin, the thick, yeah, but I'm, I'm ignoring the gold because I'm not messing around with the Pan Pacific gold pieces because they're, they're kind of pricey. Now, in the same area with that kind of silver, we picked up a lot of 40% Eisenhower's, um, the Proofs, the Unks. Now, they're silver also. Uh, they only have about 750 in silver in them, but they sell comparably... You know, $9, $10 a piece I sell them for. Something else you might think about. Pretty cheap. Uh, but it's silver is silver. And in the same area, that extends also to Canadian. Now, I don't know what it is about Canadian. I can't seem to sell Canadian. Let's take a step over here. Take a step over? Where right. I just happen to have. You just happen to, okay. Take a peek in there real quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> 122 Canadian silver coins. In One their packaging. Okay. These are the 35% actual silver weight. So there's what? About $9 in silver in each of these. All different years. Are they going to get the, the little clamshell with them? You get with the ones that have them, yeah. Okay. These are original boxes in the 70s. Um, somebody call me. But shipping to Minnesota, I think there's too much trouble trying to get them into Canada. They might have to stop you at the border. Is, is I'm not problem? too sure. Are these silver? Uh, I've these tried to do shipping to Canada. It got to be more money than the coins. Yeah, these are 35% actual silver weight. Okay. You know, whereas you look at um, our 40% silver dollars, our 40% uh, our silver dollars have, um, my mind just went blank. They, you know, they... These have 40, these have 35% actual silver. They're 40% actual silver. Gotcha. That's their weight. They're 40% pure. Um, and that's what you have. Pretty cool. You got a bunch of them, huh? Yeah, got quite a few. Got 122. <laughs> then I've got a box with the ones that are 75% silver. You know what's crazy, guy? Yeah, these. Just, just to think about it for a second, you bought these from somebody, which means you had to look through all of them, mm -hmm. right? And then you probably had to look through them again just to make sure to see what you had, right, as, as you were by yourself. Most of these don't have rarities. See, back starting around 92, they changed it from 35% to 75%. But then you have to so ship these, all these out, guy. Yeah, well, that's, that's what you have, what too. What a nightmare, huh? Yeah, well, that was, we sold a lot of some of the stuff I bought. Um, the three-piece uncirculated bicentennial sets, the proof. Eisenhower as we went shopping around to move them because, to be honest with you, I could fill a safe with what I bought Thursday. And you just need to recoup 
tens of thousands of dollars I spent, so you got to recoup some of it. Uh, and you make a couple of kopecks here and there. But um, oh, a couple of what? I'm sorry. Kopecks. What's a kopeck? It's like shekels. Oh, okay. Like pennies. different currency. Yeah, different currency. Oh. Kopecks. You're gonna confuse people. You just start throwing okay. out, you know, a little coin humor like that. Yeah, but that's like <laughs> from fiddler on a roof shingle, uh, you know, shekels. Can you and pop stuff. a couple of these out? A couple sure. of these pretty clam shells. Oh, like these these. Oh, the same thing. Yeah, these these are all seventy five percent. Okay. The forty percent dollars have about. Oh, hold on, guy. Eight fifty dollars, eight fifty in silver. Hold the phones, man. That's a pretty one. There's a lot of pretty ones. Who is this? <laughs> Who is that on the coin? This is the queen mum. What? When she was younger. Oh, she's older here. She's a little aged. Queen. This mom. one says thirty dollars on it. This is probably a better one. But I mix them in. They all go together. Maybe I'd have better put these separate. I don't know. This fellow, but there's, this uh, fellow with the wild hair. Come on, these days, how are you going to get a job? Oh, wait, he fits, he fits right in. This one says $40. Oh, it's actually just a feather dress. But this is 2005. That looks like a better one. Maybe some of these I better think twice about. <laughs> Changing your mind already? No going back, guy. Once you say something like that and it's solidified onto the YouTubes, that's then it. it's, 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 there it's forever, a done deal. Huh? It's, a, it's a handshake via the internet. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> just in case you you find some gold one in there, you you got it. No, you there's make no it. gold ones in oh, here. No, okay. You don't. You don't. I have found gold in mixes of foreign coins, but not often. Uh, and usually, as I've said before, that's the case where the person says, "Well, we're trying to get enough money to go to Burger King," and then I find a gold sovereign, which I have found, and now they're going to Red Lobster. Which they don't have to wait in line because we, like I said, we went to dinner the other day in the middle of dinner time and room wasn't half full. Yeah. People just are hurting and I get them in here all the time. You know, they're selling, they're selling rings, they're selling anything they can find. And I'm afraid it's going to get worse. It's going to get really bad in the real estate business as far as uh, commercial real estate. Midtown Manhattan, was, they had a whole big thing on San Francisco. It's 40% empty, the office buildings. New York City's 40% empty. Right. Because, the, you know, what happened was everybody went away for COVID. You, you had 20,000, 30,000 square feet, two or three floors in an office building. And, you, you know, you let your 2,000 employees, your 1,000 employees go home. And they stayed home for a year and a half. And now nobody wants to come back to work. But you discovered that, you know what, I don't need 30,000 square feet. I could have a 2,000 square foot head office where I can have a New York letterhead on my stuff, have two dozen employees who actually want to come to work, and I save a fortune for what's coming. Yeah. But there's a lot of open space. What are you going to turn it into apartment buildings? I don't think so. Not when everybody's living out of garbage bags and tents at the bottom of the apartment, you know, at the bottom of the building. Um, I think that's good. And, what did they say? A trillion dollars in uh, commercial real estate is flipping the end of this year. They got to renew contracts. Renew. Well, you know what? I'm sorry. I don't want to renew my lease on 30,000 square feet. I need 2,000. Or better yet, I'll take a 900 square foot room, put four desks, and I'll keep my letterhead there. That's all I need. One third of my people, you know, you do like, uh, what's his name did? Um, the one with SpaceX. Oh, Elon um, Musk. Musk. He laid off 80% yeah. of the, the people. Yep. He said and it was nothing necessary. changed. Nothing. <laughs> you know, Rocket didn't quite make it, but that's a separate entity. But he laid off 80%. Everything's going. Talking about a bunch of gold brickers. Do these people ever sweat? You know, it's like if you can lay <laughs> off 80% of a business and you're still humming along. Well, I think uh, Disney announced, was it 7,000 people they have to lay off? Ah, that's politics. They're playing a game with DeSantis. Who are we kidding? Yeah. You're laying up 7,000 people because people are pissed off at, at your politics. Stick to making children happy. You know, that's what you should have done. You get involved in everything and you let it consume you. Yeah. And uh, and it's, I won't go to Disney again. No. I'm done. Speaking uh, of making just, children happy, have you seen the new Mario movie? You're probably not a Mario fan. Mario did a billion dollars. I read it in the journal the other day. It was such a good movie, guy, and there was no, like, you know, weird stuff in there, no trying to get you on this side or that side opinion. It was just about Mario. 
I don't know. I'm not a cartoon person for All that. Right. Give it a chance. I'm watching a new series that was on Netflix. Yes, the wife is gone. So when I wasn't doing coins, I get to watch what I want, like The Walking Dead and stuff. Mm -hmm. I was watching the new one, Broken Diamonds, Ugly Diamonds, something with diamonds. It's set in Antwerp, and it's the Jews that control, you know, the diamonds of Antwerp that they've been running for, like, since 1450. Mm -hmm. And it's the intrigue and, and stuff of that. I, I like that. I think it's interesting, and it's a different culture, and, uh, and you, you know, you've got forces in Europe who are dangerous, you know, and they're trying to push in on everything. But I watched the first three episodes, so I think I got five more episodes to watch. So got some time. I don't know if Susan wants to watch it, but uh, we're going to do that. You guys have to come to an agreement on like everything you watch. No, no, we got we have multiple televisions, <laughs> so that's the easiest agreement. You go that way, you go that like way. Either I watch it in the bedroom or the living room, you know. And there's even I, there's one in the kid in the playroom, and there's one in the guest. We have like four big TVs, so okay. there's no big deal. No big deal. You know, but I, you know, I watch the TV. I, I spent a lot more time going through coins in the last five days. Then I did, uh, then I did, you know, watching television. You ever get this guy? You're going through coins, you're at your desk, your workspace, going through coins, flipping through the gray sheets, and then she's telling you something that is probably really important, but it's like you have no idea what she's saying. Yeah. I, <laughs> I hear that. I told you already about that. Welcome I to told marriage. you about that. Welcome to marriage. You know, I already told you about that, but, uh, <laughs> you know, she'll be happy. I was able to get my podiatrist on the phone, so I got an appointment for Wednesday to get my nails clipped. Oh, yeah? Diabetics, I get that for nothing. Just clipped, huh? Yeah. Get Whatever they do. Go polish no, on there? No, no, no polish. No polish. You're not. That's Lily. She oh, okay. gets the polish on there. <laughs> no, no. You're too me. old school for that. Okay. I mean, I was I was in the doctor's office the other day, and the guy was uh, back there, and uh, he had on pretty nail polish. Oh, jeez. I don't know. You know, it's another world, but as long as you're competent, I don't really care. But... You know, he wasn't wearing a dress. I had the guy but, um, um, yesterday, I was at a drive through right, trying to get a chicken sandwich. And the guy had nail polish on, black nail polish. But it was missing a lot of nail polish. Like, the sides weren't done very good. There were yeah, some scratches that's... on it. I'm thinking, like, what kind of sandwich am I going to get? If you can't put nail polish on <laughs> yourself that, that well. That makes me worry because, <laughs> you know, I get the girls out here who come in and they're selling. We get all kinds of walks of life. And you get some of these people who walk for life. And they uh, are... They come in with broken nails and that kind of stuff, and it makes me think, you know, what kind of level of people we got here. Where did you exactly get this stuff? And I don't want to see that behind a counter in a food service. Yeah. You know, my my, I spent 35 years in the food business, and uh, I mean, there's people I see working that they wouldn't work for me. Mm. They just, you know, it's the way you have, part of it is presentation and the way you present yourself. I used to work at a homeless shelter guy, and uh, some of the people in there are, you know, very, they're addicted to things and stuff. Yeah, and, I know. I see. And I, yeah. And I would go and, uh, you know, as I was working there, they'd come back in all these different uniforms and uh, of different food service places. And I was thinking, like, man, that guy was just out there, you know, smoking out of a little pipe and stuff, and now he's serving people their pancakes. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hear what you're saying. I mean, that's that's the the, the world we live in now. Yeah. You know, but that's the world we live in. What can you do? Uh, what else did I want to what do? What else you got? I got so many things. Let's I talk about some things, huh? I got so many things I can't remember. Get what did you get? The Lonega cup. Okay, you got that. I wanted to touch base on all the different sizes. Eisenhower dollars, Canadian stuff. Just be aware of all the different weights and stuff of these things. I don't, I don't you know, know if people even like these videos we're doing, Guy. I don't know if they're commenting, letting me know that they like them. Well, I get free T-shirts. I get free. I get free stuff. They got a thumbs up. You know what I mean? They got a comment. They got a. You know, they got to participate a little bit. Sometimes the silent majority out there, they don't participate enough. They, they stay Why silent too much. Why did you bring this up? <laughs> me? Uh -oh. Did I did I hurt your feelings? I mean, we tried to push this so hard. I don't know. Is this the new one? This is the new one. Are you there? The hundred. <laughs> uh -oh. The hundred biggest advertisers for Coin World. Okay, that's what I call. Wait, it. wait, what'd you say again? The hundred biggest advertisers. It's basically oh, they either cross out, cross they either influential. advertise. Well, money I mean, is you can almost You can almost turn to any page, mm -hmm. and opposite the page is the ad. I mean, here you go. This is this guy, and that's their ad. That sure looks like that guy. Let's see. 
Come on, Coin World. You're you're scamming Coin World. If you don't do the right thing and put people on there that people actually recommend, nobody knows. I mean, this is this is the advertiser. I just think it's kind of. I think it's a hustle. As I said, if it, why bother? I guess you're self-promoting these people, and giving them a, I don't know, biggest advertiser. How many houses do these people? Well, own? here's the thing: is there's um, you know several YouTubers out there that uh, do coin shop interviews now that I kind of started it. Um, any of those people should have been more more influential than those people right there. You should be in here. I mean, you get to a lot of people. You have what sixty five thousand views, sixty five thousand right. couple dozen members or something. You got a lot of them. Couple dozen. Um, you know. No, it's, it's, it's that kind of thing. I just feel that the money talks. It's, I feel that this is disingenuous. I'm sorry, and that's it. I don't really, you know, I don't mind if I'm not like, You know, get I couldn't sleep for three thing. days when this came out. I'm sorry. I, I wanted to push for you. I thought that you were an influential yeah, I, person. I told you there's no chance in hell because, oh, like I said, this is politics. I'm sorry. It's no biggie. But you know what? Maybe um, when they do uh, 2024s. That they'll at least put your name as you know on there permanently rather oh, than a well, write-in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna corner them at the next fun show in July. Yeah. I'm gonna find their booths. I wonder how many votes did I get? Grab by the lapel and be like, so "What's I, going I'm on?" I'm just here? curious, you know. <laughs> I'm just curious. It's just that's that's an, that's a New Yorker in me. Hey, yeah. what's coming know? into the shop more, guy? Uh, silver bars and rounds or gold bars and rounds? Right oh, now. silver by far. Silver's coming in. And it's hard keeping any of it. I had a comment that uh, my wife read to me about, oh, you look in the case, I see you got gold, it's so hard to get. You see, I got two pieces of gold right now because this came in Saturday. Well, I think they look at people that aren't like really kind of aware of what they're looking at. They're mixing in the regular bullion stuff with yeah. the numismatic stuff. Yeah, here's a gold, here's a gold one ounce. Numismatic will sit there a little longer. $5,400. Yeah. That's not just an ounce of gold. Numismatic. Exactly. It's going to sit there longer than 1,000 that. made, Boy. maybe 200 exist. Mm -hmm. um, I got a guy looking seriously at all three of those. But this isn't for you guy just buying bullion. I mean, you know, this is, this is a $5,000 coin. It's that kind of cool. Yeah. You know, it's not, that's gold too. Uh, you know, it's a $2.5 gold piece that's from the Civil War. at 600 this coin is a quarter of an ounce. It's thirteen hundred. Yeah, they're gold, but they got big premiums. Your your fifty pesos and your one ounce American gold will not last this whole week. I bet you. The guy's coming in for this one, and he wants to see this one. It'll be here before ten tomorrow. If you told me that you had that coin before I came in today, you'd mm -hmm. not have that coin on this video. Oh. Just telling you that right now. Okay. <laughs> I think I bought that Saturday. I bought a lot that. today. A lot came in this morning. Um, you know, it's not a bad thing. Um, it's it's good. It keeps me keeps me busy. Um, it keeps the hunt going. It's, you know, am I going to sell that ten Kopeck coin for one hundred twenty five dollars? I'll take ninety bucks. I might just get it certified because I think it's kind of cool. Well, that's part of the game you know, too. I, that little haggle. Yeah, and I've got a whole bunch of high end certified foreign down there that doesn't sell that well, but I'm negotiable. Yeah. You know, I've got about 60 certified pieces, and I'll bet you those 60 pieces at $20,000 in the catalog. You know, I'll take 15. You excited about anything coming up, guy? About the new fun show here coming up? Uh... I'm always looking, you know, I'm always looking to see what fun has. Uh, I want to see, I got a couple of coins I'm going to put in to fun. And then that's like uh, Christmas, you know. You put it in, but got to be smart enough to put everything in and get it shipped once. I don't want to pay a $10 extra handling fee and fee because some of them are foreign and some of them are U.S. Ship them together. It's okay with me. Yep. Ship my U.S. gold with my U.S. silver. It's okay with me. You know, I, I, I shipped uh, 18 coins I dropped with NGC, and they charged me like $165. They sent it in five different deliveries, and it all came within a couple of weeks. I can understand a big one being shipped separately. That was the one with the tiger that I sold. Yeah. The other four could all be combined. I mean, whoever came up with that extra $10 fee, he had to get a new car. Oh, for the different sections? Yeah. Yeah. And then you charge for different sections, and it's... But you have a monopoly. I mean, you well, know, what can I say? I did that with NGC, too. I said, just ship them all together, because I'm not paying separate for each one. Somebody else was telling me that story about you, where you had... Uh, you had a coin conservatoid. Oh, uh, the uh, the conservation part yeah, of their Yeah, they did little, the conservation, yeah. and then they, they charged $30, $35 for it. 
And then they turned around and said, cleaned. And he, yeah, he they, said, what did I get for my money? They got me. They no, got I mean, me really, short. if you're looking at it and you think you can do it right, then you do it. But I just think it's another hook. I love the friendly email they sent me where they're like, hey, man, we could probably get this coin looking a little bit better for you right here. We think there's some residue on it, blah, blah, blah. Really sold me. I'm like, yeah, you know what? You already got my coin anyways. You're going to probably mark it uh, cleaned if you don't do it. So, or damage. Well, obviously. Yeah, so go ahead. Do, do your conservation. Let's see what you can come up with. And then after they sent it back, there was no like, sorry, brother, couldn't couldn't do it. You know what I mean? We tried nothing. It was hey. just, hey, clean now. He paid for his cappuccino <laughs> or whatever. You got a bonus for that those one. Sons of guns. You know, but I'm, you know, I'm dealing with, uh, funny enough, guy, I'm actually dealing with PCGS too. And although the, um, the customer service, as far as getting back to me on things, is a bit of a struggle with PCGS, the, the everything that they're offering is just a little bit better. The package deal and everything. It's just it's just a little slightly better. I don't know how to explain it. I gotta um, look at that then. In the, in the future, when I actually have a video that I'll put out about it, I'll explain it a little bit more in depth, but it just seems like they're just like a little bit higher quality on things, PCGS. Now, okay. NGC is a little bit more, they're kind of pushing themselves out more there, but it, PCGS just still seems to have that little bit more higher quality. The you know other thing I'm going to tell you is, and I showed you a taste of it. When I get the chance, I've got a bag of about five dozen, four, 50, 60 early coins. Okay. That we're in a whole bunch of foreign and odds and ends and coffee cans and sorting out. Everything from the early 1500s through the early 1800s. A lot of German thin silver pieces. 1622, 1640. That's the kind of stuff I'll do when it's a snowy day and I'm at my desk for a couple hours. You know, you can spend a half an hour researching one coin. I don't know if I've ever showed you. A lot of these are German coins, probably. And the history of Germany is such that, I mean, they were technically advanced. They made some wonderful coins. This book is just German. All German. All German. And there's about, I think there's 180 it's the German Red city book. states. Wow. This goes from 1500, 1500 to present, but it's all in one book, Holy so Christ. I don't got to jump around. Wow. Um, you know, but there's two or three there that I think are medieval coins from the 13th century. I've had them before. I just got to research everything. It's going to take time. That'll be in a video. Maybe you'll have it in a couple of weeks. But this right, is so all. Stay tuned. You're saying <laughs> exactly. Stay tuned. That's ancients to come. Not ancients. But early coins, coins to come. Okay. Hopefully there's no curse on those coins. Today is May Day. You said curse. Jeez. What Today May Day is mean? May Day. What does May Day mean? It's like I talked to a little guy, my grandson, yesterday. I was at the house for dinner because I'm an orphan because the wife is in Long Island. And I do most of the cooking anyway. But anyway, I was invited for dinner. Mm -hmm. And that little guy there, when he is, he eats like hell. He's always eating, always hungry. And I said, today's May Day. So, six months to Halloween. Oh, okay. Papa likes Halloween. I think it's also a new holiday, um, Officer Appreciation Day. So if there's any officers out there that watch Coin Guy, hey, we appreciate you. Well, isn't this the big, isn't May Day when the Russians have their big parade? You tell me. I remember as a kid being in sixth grade, and May Day is when they used to have the May Pole. It was a long pole, with, and the girls would do ribbons, and they would intertwine, dance around it, dance around the May Pole. Maybe this is some kind of witchcraft kind of thing. I know May Day is a, the festival of life when the witches run naked in the woods kind of idea. So legend says, uh, it gets cold if you're in the north. But anyway, um, that's what May Day was. And we would do the, uh, in sixth grade, it was field, field day. The broad jump, the, the races, things like that. And that's what May Day used to be. Now, I don't know. It's, I think now it's Indigenous People Day. I don't know. Every month has an indigenous day. What month is Italian Appreciation Day? I don't know. I'm just curious about that. I don't know. You what know. are you doing for the 4th? May the 4th. You watching Star Wars or anything? What's May the 4th? May the 4th be with you. Oh, May the 4th. Yeah. Uh, yeah, see? I'm not a big Star Wars fan. Wait, you what? Know? what? Star oh, no. Wars. I'm a Star Trek person. It's my generation. Right. I watch Star, Star Wars, but, you know, it's it's like everything else. I, I like, I love science fiction. I really do enjoy it. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Some things I see going on now is like science fiction. It seems like science fiction you out know. there. 
I'm ready. Waiting for Stephen King to write a book, <laughs> the U.S. in 50 years. Well, if it's still here, huh? Guy? I don't know. Appreciate don't know. your time. I mean, this was fun. I enjoy. I'm trying to find new things and try to cover questions that people give me. Um, you know, hang in there. Things will get better. God bless America. Greatest country in the world. God bless America. Amen. We're going to keep doing this. I mean, Amen. there's so many questions out there. There's so many topics to cover. Uh, we could just go day and day I try to remember day. as many as I can, but my mind just isn't what it used to be. Uh, but I try to cover some of the things people point out. Uh, but we do what we can. You seem pretty sharp, guy. So, All right. Thank you very much, guy. God bless America. Take care, guys. You know, when I was a kid, we did this every day in school, and I believe we need to bring this back a little bit, and I'm going to start right now. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.